Medicare is right to take on the challenge of readmissions because obviously uh, from a public policy perspective, we want to think about how to achieve efficiency and effectiveness. So to the extent that people are going out of the hospital and coming back for complications associated with that post-hospital stay or even during the hospital stay, that's an issue that needs to be challenged and taken on. At the same time, we're particularly excited about the research that demonstrates that Medicare Advantage plans have done a much better job than the traditional fee-for-service program in tackling this problem in working collaboratively with hospitals, working collaboratively with physicians, working with patient groups, and most importantly, making sure that an individual discharged from the hospital understands their orders from their physicians, knows the drugs that they are supposed to take, know, make, making sure that they are actually able to get those drugs, oftentimes going into a person's home to make sure that their medical equipment has been delivered, that they know how to operate it, that they understand when they need to go back to see their physician, if they need to go back for a post-hospital outpatient visit, that they know how to do that, when to do that, et cetera, and if they need transportation to make all of that happen. So those are the reasons that with the plan's ability to coordinate care, integrate this care, provide those support services, that's why they're doing, I think, better. And it's a real opportunity to partner with more hospitals and more physicians to really attack this problem broadly.